Hey there, guys. Um, just wanted to bring you guys the um, Packraft setup that I have. This is actually just the Intex 200, which is a, more of a child's pool toy. But a lot of videos out, out there where they push the limits of this, um, this inflatable raft. Anyway, this thing weighs 7 pounds, 3 ounces, and um, the inflatable raft by itself weighs around four pounds eight ounces and uh, pretty much about the same weight as the more legitimate uh, pack rafts like alpaca and coco pelli so those are around five pounds like the coco pelli rogue light is 5.5 pounds and the uh, alpaca caribou is a four you know, four pound, 12 ounce or four pound, eight ounce, um, pack raft. Obviously those are more durable, but both of those are basically between 700 to a thousand dollars. Uh, I am waiting around for the new version of the Alpaca Scout. They've announced that they will be releasing the new version of the Alpaca Scout in 2022. My friend had told me about pack rafts many years ago, uh, and I just never quite looked at it. Uh, and I always thought that things were just as heavy as, um, you know, for instance, at the moment we own the, uh, what do you call that? The Sea Eagle 370, which is a two and a half or three person kayak, as they mentioned. Um, I can fit myself, my wife, our son and a very little gear uh, so that's more of um, two person kayak with gear or basically two adults and a child without much gear so um, I've got my aqua shoes these are the and Luke or and Luke um, five ounce water socks in the summertime I usually will just wear water water shoes from Merrill. I'll make a video of those at some point. And here we've got the poles, I um, mean the poles, the oars included uh, from the Intex 200. These are their French oars. This is a pretty cheap oar but weighs one pound three ounces in this configuration where you can put the paddles on both sides so you can turn it into a fairly short kayak paddle uh, I did use this on a one trip and I've had to replace the oars oops that's terrible and then uh, goes the same for the other side so this is a pound and three ounces Definitely no carbon fiber uh, paddle, but gets the job done. Uh, I had to replace one of the paddles because it cracked. I wound up sitting on it by accident and I cracked it and it punctured a part of the bottom of the inflatable raft. I'm just using a standard dry bag from Target. Very flimsy bag. I've had to repair this many, many times. Uh, I have to keep stitching the roll top. Here's some repair tape, which is included in the Intex. This is a snorkeling PFD, personal flotation device. This is not Coast Guard approved, and most places will require you to use a Coast Guard, U.S. Coast Guard approved flotation device. Those are um, available on Amazon, but the the one that I want to get is a hundred and ten dollars. So I'm going to save up some money for that. This is good for now. I did find a cheaper or a a lighter seat than this, about two ounces lighter, but this is what I'm carrying for now. It's uh, from Amazon. It's an inflatable kayak seat. I forgot the name of it. But yeah, uh, I when the first time I used it, this was a little low. 
uh, or I was seated very low, it's very hard to paddle. So I decided to get a seat for it. Now this is just a PVC, typical pool toy, um, Intex type of construction, only two chambers. And uh, there's a lot of videos on this and it works pretty well. You have an included four ounce hand pump. And you basically pump this up and then you'd have to use your lungs to blow enough air into it after you put it in the water uh, because when you put it in cold water, the air will basically shrink. So anyway, guys, uh, I'll put a little bit of footage towards the end um, of my last little pack rafting experience. Uh, I'm using this in place of those more serious uh, pack rafts at the moment. Very good budget alternative, though. I think if you wanted to try it out, just see how it feels on your back when you're pack rafting, um, carrying that extra weight. This is seven pounds, three ounces. My base weight in the summer can be between five to eight pounds. And I brought this on a trip where I was carrying a total of 21 pounds with food and water. So I was at 14 pounds with, um, with food, I mean, with my base weight and the, the pack craft. So it was about seven pounds base weight. And then this trip, my base weight, because it's in the fall, my base weight is at 12 pounds. And um, this is gonna weigh seven pounds, three ounces. So I'm just hovering above 19 pounds uh, of base weight. So for all you guys that are ultralight and lightweight backpackers that did want to try uh, some pack rafting experience, they do have uh, these, which are pretty comparable at about $30. They're on Amazon. It includes the paddle already. Uh, and then also a big a popular one is the climate, uh, climate light water dinghy. And I did purchase that, but because of the weather being cooler, uh, people have said that water, since it's a sort of like a sit on top kayak, as soon as you sit in it, all the water will come in. And this at least has uh, the sides are, you know, I think 10 or 12 inches in diameter. So it keeps the water out, hopefully. Uh, anyway, I will be including some footage on this um, on our upcoming trip. And I'll give you guys a little report on how this went and also uh, in the future um, if I do decide to purchase the alpaca scout or the alpaca caribou I'll definitely be including uh, and making footage of that as well thank you for watching please like share and subscribe uh, this whole setup including the water shoes is under a hundred dollars about thirty dollars for the inflatable raft the seat is about ten dollars and then you've got the um, the personal flotation device at 20 bucks, basically. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.